Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. I know. Wait for the next nerdish video to come out. I haven't had much content on that, but now we got it. So I know there's all these $500 printers coming out, all these $900 printers, all these $1,100 printers, you know? And they're all fast, 250 millimeters, 300 millimeters, 900 millimeters. But you know what we got here? We got $200 of amazingness that's gonna hopefully run at 122 millimeters per second or whatever it is <laughs> uh sick of the bed slingers tired of them ender three ender five is three hundred dollars right four hundred dollars i don't know and then then they have the ender five pro which is like five hundred dollars and then they got the ender six which is like six and those are slow as molasses mind you so we've got the solval sv05 200 bucks direct drive doesn't have an all metal hot end and guess what we do have a giveaway buy metal heat brakes right here i got two using one but so just drop your comment if you want these hit that sub let's go maybe you guys can build this bad boy hopefully we can get it running at 122 millimeters uh it says 80 some websites say 70 most people run their ender fives at 90 to 100 so we're gonna mod this up we're gonna do some shit in the firmware uh so this isn't gonna be a build tutorial today hell no if you want to see that you can watch anybody else's channel we what we're gonna do today we're just gonna do basic setup get it running uh we're gonna add the bimetal heat break we're not gonna mess with any firmware till the next video um we have one silent stepper motor uh whatever this i just had this lying around i might throw it in if there's a loud motor it should this thing has you i'm sure you've seen the specs on it everything should be silent stepper i shouldn't need this do have a metal tip if need be i've got count them two backlash springs if need be we might throw those on we don't know uh for the bed bed insulation bed on that one's not insulated um i want this thing for abs it's going to be printing its new upgrades um i'll explain other upgrades we're doing we're probably going to go with the entire direct drive micro swiss extruder kit which is like a hundred bucks for the ender five but i gotta tear this thing apart and make sure everything fits on it if not then we're gonna have to figure out something else uh that being said i think that's about all i have for this um what, oh wait nope we got one more thing what so this bed also comes with springs for leveling so you gotta level it all that stupid stuff so i got the black hard rubbers uh these are really hard so i'll be able to crank these bad boys down um level it crank them level it crank them, get it all dialed in perfectly heat it up level it again and then after that i probably should never have to level it again right at least for a, a long time you know i'm sure we might have to check it a couple times after that but it should be a lot better than springs right because these these are the hard ones okay still a little squish but real hard <clears throat> If not, maybe we can find some metal ones instead, you know, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and as far as for like speed wise, um, to help boost the speed, you know, I've seen a lot of different things, springs for the bottom feet to help get rid of a little bit of that wobble, stuff like that. Maybe um, stronger top, heavier base. Uh, there's a lot of different things we're going to do. You know, we're going to try and get it to that 120, 120, where we're going to go with this. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But for 200 bucks with the bottom metal heat break, you know, 220 bucks, not bad. Running ABS stuff, should look good. Supposedly out of the box, it's running 80. Uh, it beats 500 bucks, even with all the upgrades we plan on doing. We're probably gonna, only gonna spend, what, like 340 bucks? So still super cheap compared to all the newer options out there. Because baseline right now is $500, I think, for anything good. So we're still gonna be 150 bucks under that. So let's do it. So I'm having a slight problem, um, I don't know, it just, it's definitely not extruding, it keeps stopping up, uh, I've cranked up the temperature, this thing is so jank, like, it's, <laughs> it like, the whole problem is the extruder, a new extruder would do it, so I'm gonna pull this apart, make sure I got the extruder on okay, cause it's like, fucking, it wiggles to the side, it's complete garbage. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's not my tips too small or whatever, kind of doing whatever. So I've uh, taken out the uh, 
the regular little PTF tube um, out of the original and then I've installed Capricorn just for you know a little extra protection so that doesn't melt or whatnot um, that should stop whatever issue most people were having with it um, instead of just the metal hot end until I get an actual metal hot end um, but this should help a lot um, provided I can get it to extrude so I'm gonna see if this is the problem. <laughs> if this isn't the problem, then I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Uh, other than get a new extruder, cause that's the plan, bro. Cause like, uh, done a test print already. Uh, it looks flipping amazing. Uh, it needs tightened as you can see, but uh, yeah, and a better fan. Cause like you can see the side that didn't have a fan cause it just going from the front. So this was the back. Apparently they had it or orientated wrong, but whatever. Um, but like it's super clean the measurements come out great. So it's super good print um, As far as you know, just little stuff that I gotta do <clears throat> It's fast too. This thing's fast and quiet. I love that um, But yeah, I'm gonna get back to it. So if I can't fix this problem <laughs> What is up guys? We are back. We're doing the mods. Everything's working good. Uh, yes, I know I'm getting fat But I injured my back so, uh, exercise has been far and few between everything sucks don't worry, I'll get back there again. I got stuff. We're gonna get my back fixed, but yeah, you know, pain in I was gonna say ass, but more of the back. Anyways, um, what I said, what was I saying? Okay, so we got the ABS cooking. We're cooking all the ABS stuff right now. Um, the Capricorn tubing seems to be working fine. Uh, no problems ever since I did that. Um, uh, and one more mod. Let's bring you guys in, find the mod. All right, so there's a fan shroud, right? Um, goes over here, as you can see. Um, the filament was getting warm, so it was spinning out. So took this off and uh, better airflow. So you can feel it from the top. It's still cooking because we're doing ABS, but um, as far as the under, under extruding goes, um, that helped a lot for that. Um, as far as sticking to the bed with the ABS, um, like some people have good reviews about the bed, because the bed's fine. Um, it's give and take. I don't know. I found this at the dollar store though. Bam. Uh, it works amazing. You spray it on your bed, obviously, and you can't even see it. Once it's dry, it just like disappears. And when you rub your bed with alcohol, it kind of turns it to a slurry. And you see it uh, it works amazing i love it so far so um here's that once again uh like i said i found it at the dollar store uh it's full it's nice and heavy uh 1.8 ounces um it works amazing i love it so um no product placement here anyways this stuff's awesome <laughs> and um so i got the uh, pla um what is it? Uh, fan mod. Uh, it's out of ABS, but uh, this is going to be for uh, cooking my PLA double sided. I will put this link up there because, like, this is like the new model. If you can see it, see how one's shorter than the other? That's not me holding it that way. That's just the way that is. Um, so it should get air all around the part where your thing's pointing. Uh, we'll test that out. It's going to work good, hopefully. Um, like I said, yeah, this is the newer one. So. Hopefully it works really good. And God, that ABS is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at these lines, baby. That looks so good. Sheesh. Oh man, it feels like some kind of horn or something. <clears throat> uh, did this one already. This is gonna be for the um, the hot end for, uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Jeez, oh my God, I forgot already. The uh, the micro Swiss hot end. Uh, this one failed. Came out the bed. Um, I forgot to spray the other half of the bed. <laughs> so this side stuck. And this side came up. Um, but we're reprinting. We'll get that done out of the way. I printed uh, the bouncy feet out of ABS also. Uh, these are just Ender 5. So just search Ender 5. Um, bed, feet, something like that. You'll find a shit ton of them. Uh, just look for those. They just they have a little circle of the plastic the rubber feet fit into. Um, they work great, fit perfect. I love them. And as far as updates go, I think that's it. 
Um, I'll be right back, hopefully, with a PLA print with our new um, cool end for this. And then I think that's it for the video. If, you know, nothing else goes wrong or I don't figure out anything else. I love this printer so far. It's so fast. Oh, um, on our PLA prints, um, I'm going to crank uh, the acceleration up to 1,000 and speed up to uh, 100 and see how that goes. Acceleration's at 500 right now. It's really fast for 500. I'm actually really surprised. So we'll see how that goes at 1,000. Everything cranked up to 1,000 and speed at 100. Uh, hopefully with the feet and everything, it helps. Also, um, I smoothed this out so it spins better. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want any um, resistance in here. Because this is just a single gear extruder. So any slight resistance is going to lower your extrusion rate, which is bad. And we want to print fast. So um, my PLA mod I'm making, I'm just making a new uh, one of these that uses bearings for PLA. Or out of PLA. I figure PLA will be fine for that. It's strong enough to hold that up. Because it'll be nice and thick. And then it'll be on a set of rollers, so I'm not too worried about it being out of PLA. And I want to see how fast it prints and get this fan shroud on it. I'll show you guys that here in a second. Let's do it. Peace out. Bye. All right, guys. We got it on there. We're printing. I still don't think it feels that fast. I think we could bump up the acceleration maybe 1,500. But we'll see. Speed 120 like I wanted. We'll see. Right now we're just rocking 100 and acceleration 1000. But as you can see, look at that glass, baby. Oh, ho, ho. looking good. Everything's tightened up. Everything's looking good. Oh, this stupid print came off the bed in the same spot. So I looked at it in the G code, and for some reason it's not flat. Like, if you select this side, it'll sit on this side, and then this side's up just a hair. So in the G-code, I'm going to have to like bring it under the bed and just chop off part of this, I guess, because this side's longer than this side. I can't believe I didn't notice that. But yeah, because I usually just select, you know, click a spot, it sits on there, I'm like, okay, I'm good. But apparently not. I don't know why it would be off like that. That's so stupid. So I'm just going to have to re-slice it and, again... But, um, yeah, good times. That really sucks. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, I thought about finishing it. I was like, maybe I'll just use it. And then I'm like, nah, I don't have the hot end yet anyway. So whatever. We get this roller done. Hopefully uh, this can keep up. It's looking good. I, I'm sure we can push it faster. So. I might have gone a little overboard with the infill. Just a tad. Uh, I thought I had it turned down less than that. I don't know. I think it's like 30% or something. Maybe it's 20. I don't know, but it looks like a lot of infill. Uh, note to self, it's moving kind of fast. Every now and again when it shoots across, I hear it just scuff a tad bit. So maybe turn on the Z-hop when um, moving. I forget what that's called, but it's in, it's in the slicer. Um, yeah, uh, it's not bad, you know. I, didn't, I, didn't, I haven't heard it like pull off the print, but I'm worried it might. But we'll see. I mean, she cooking. Hopefully, we can get faster than this. But you, yeah, baby, looking good. Well, hello there, everyone. All right, so we got these prints. Check them out. So these were printed at a thousand acceleration at a hundred millimeters a second. Um, I did have a knot in my filament, so that's the only reason why we have these uh, under extruded areas. <laughs> that's my fault, you know, you gotta check for those. See, the other side looks good. This looks amazing. Look at that. Um, but yeah, so this new filament holder should help also for any under extrusion, because like when it's pulling down off that, you know, it's a single gear extruder. So yeah, it's gonna have some under extrusion accidents here and there but knowing that that's just under extrusion from uh, the filament holder means we're about to fix that look at these lines though amazing and then the details on this look at that hit another one right there but 
it was just on that outside, so that's tight. That looks kind of messy because um, my supports aren't the best because I supported at 70. But yeah, no, that's that's great. Like, look at this. This is going to fit perfect. Look at that. I'm trying to snap one in, check the tolerances. Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. So uh, let's put this bad boy together, right? Hopefully I got the correct um, everything. We're going to do a dab of glue. Uh, Gorilla Glue, Gel, XL, let's go. Whoa, haha, <laughs> don't want to do too much. Just a little bit. Okay, that's way more than enough. <laughs> Alright, and these go kitty corner to each other. So this way, oh my god, I just got glue on my finger. Put way too much glue on. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Um, we'll just go for it. Get it started. Get it started. Yeah, buddy. This is going to be so good. And according to the guy's instructions who uh, designed this model, he says to um, tap the uh, these in, these uh, bearings. Um, I just got them off a rollerblade wheel. <laughs> it was free, it was cheap, it was easy. So that's what we're going with. Drill in there. Thank you. Okay. Is that gonna fit? Oh yeah, baby. Can we just press them in? Press fit for the win. Press fit for the win. Let's go. Uh, I think she's on there. Bada boom. Uh, I think they can go in a little further. Is that going to fit though? Oh, that fits already. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. What? And it's heavy. Oh, and it's so smooth. Look at these. Man, that turned out perfect. Yep. Got a couple of airlines, but yeah. This is going to fix all of that. Oh, man, this is hefty. I'll link this too. This is awesome. Whoever designed this. Brilliant. Brilliant person. All right, let's get this on the wall. All right, so let's, uh, oh no. Our spool is getting caught already, look at that. Let's put this over here like this. Check my print. Okay, we just caught it just in time, jeez. So this goes like this. Oh, that fits, oh my goodness. Crank that down real tight. Oh man. Push this back. Might need some kind of guide or something to keep it from going back behind itself like that. We'll see. Uh wow. Okay. Alright. Might have to put a second screw in this. It's kind of heavy. Uh, well, I'll put another screw in it. I'll be right back. All right, let's try that again. She just, she rolled, baby. Okay, well, shouldn't have any problems with that. Guys, that's it. Check out my shroud. You gotta love it. <laughs> it's a rag. I mean, it works, but whatever. Okay, guys, so please like, subscribe, 
And if you want to see the update on the next one of these bad boys, make sure you hit that bell because we ain't done with this bad boy yet. This is stage one. We got her cooking at 1100 and 100 fucking, we're going to town with this bad boy. I'm scared to push it any higher, but I think after this print, uh, I might dabble with um, smaller models, uh, detailed, and we're gonna push it up maybe 1250 with uh, 110 on the millimeters. Uh, the highest I wanna try to get it is 120. I think that's sufficient because the Creality S1 or whatever um, says it goes up 250, but you know, everyone's been pushing it and without the clipper on there, you know, they're only getting 120. So 120 seems to be the mark to hit. So hopefully we can hit that guys. Peace out, bye, have a great one. Mwah!